Hi, this is going to be a general love reading for the sign of Gemini. Hi, Gemini. I hope that fan's not too loud. I get really hot when I channel, so I have the fan on. But it makes a pretty loud buzzing noise, so I don't know if it's going to disturb you or not. My blue light filter just came on. i got to shut it off one second. Do, 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 do. Because then it messes with the lighting. All right, let's get started. So the decks I'm using for you is my Rider weight. This one. Let's see what else. Hold on. Um, by Gypsy, Gypsy, Gypsy cards. Um, my heel, <laughs> I've said my heel, my heel yourself reading cards and my go-to Lightseers, uh, deck. All right. Just my shirt here. All right, let's get started deck of reason first all right we're gonna start with our love portion so let's start with the light seers i suppose reading now for the sign of gemini please spurt hmm. okay that was an epic fail as far as shuffling went what the hell wish i had more room probably really loud it's right next to the speaker sorry about that Gemini okay reading now for Gemini what does Gemini need to know what do I need to know for right now let's just say that what does Gemini need to know right now reading now for Gemini what does Gemini need to know right now about their love life please whoa Sorry, if you don't like the shuffling, then go ahead and fast forward. But I love the shuffling. I love everything about the shuffling. I like the sound. I love the feel. I just, I love everything about shuffling. Okay. Half of the joys in the shuffling. All right. For me, at least, for the readings. What do I got for Gemini? Gemini for love, please. Gemini for love. Let's do four of these and four of the Rider Waits here. Ooh. Gemini, Gemini. You got some good stuff coming out already. Ah, <laughs> my hand's getting tired. One more. We got two fours already. Whoa. Should we take any of those? I don't think so. <laughs> Gemini, 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 Gemini. Last one. Oof. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right, we got four of wands. We got the sun. My ankle just cracked. Four of wands. We got the sun. We got four of swords. We have the high priestess. Let me get four more cards out, and then we'll do some interpretation for the Geminis. What the hell? Why is it sticky right there? Nobody eats on this table. This is just a terrible table. All right, reading now for Gemini. Hoo, hoo. Look, back to back, we got four of wands and the sun. So you guys have something really, really great coming in for you in regards to your love life. There's some sunshine, some happiness, Ooh, some celebrating. Okay, shuffle one more time for Gemini for love, please. Tell me what my Geminis need to know right now. Ooh, ooh, my lovely Gemini. A beautiful air signs. Four more, please, for Gemini. Okay, eight of wands. That's not eight of wands, it's ten of wands. That's what I meant to say. Why did I say eight of wands? Mm -hmm. Whoa. Ooh, a tower moment. 
Why are all the signs getting those right now? Ooh, it's because you're you're starting to feel fed the fuck up, Gemini. You're like, fuck this. You're tired. Oh, you got the high priestess twice. Damn, Gemini. There's either some heavy secrets going on or your intuition is off the fucking chain. Oh my god, it's beautiful. No, that's you. That's your energy. It's intuition on fire, Gemini. Damn, intuition's on fire for you. Wow, that is fucking beautiful shit. Cannot even. Mm. Thought I had another deck for you guys. Didn't I grab another one? Guess not. The hero fan. Holy fuck. Alright. Mmm. We got some serious commitment coming in. I just don't know if you're ready for it, Gemini. Okay. So we got some celebrating. We got some four of wands, celebrating, happiness, parties, um, joy. We got the sun. They came out back to back to back. But there's also this heavy energy, Gemini, of just being fed up in the love department. So, you know what I'm going to say. Be cautious, but stay open, okay? Look, we got Four of Swords, which is an energy of um, kind of going into yourself, resting, recouping. It's very hermit-like. It came out right next to the High Priestess. And FYI, you got the High Priestess twice, okay? So this one... We got this one, and then we get the High Priestess, but then we got this. Ten of Wands, which is literally feeling exhausted. <laughs> exhausted, okay? Ten of Wands, if you look at this card, this person is like super tired. They're they're doing way too much, first of all. It's it's the card. <laughs> That's the card. I call it the card of doing too much. It's like in the love department, there's a need to relax, Gemini. <sighs> You may be putting too much effort into something that is not quite working out in the love department. So if you find that you're the one that's doing all the pursuing, all of the talking, all of the everything in the love department, this might not be the person for you. So take that how it resonates. I don't know. There's, there's also though with this and this, there's also just this energy of you don't really... It's conflicting because there's this energy of you want to put yourself out there because you want to fall in love, but yet there's this energy of not wanting to put yourself out there and wanting to just protect your heart and just sort of be alone. If you look here, there's a heart next to her in the nest. So there's an energy of I healed my heart. She's literally okay. So in this card, the woman has, she's curled up into like a kind of fetal position. There's flowers all over her body. Um, like she's got flowers tattooed in her arms, but they're also on her pants. And she's got um, this needle that it looks like she darned and fixed her own heart with. Literally, she sewed the heart. See? So it's this feeling of, I, I fixed my own heart. It's not broken anymore. I don't need anyone else in my space. And you're doing all this work by yourself. You're you. Some of you might be single moms, single dads, taking care of everything on your own. And I just get this energy of, I'm protecting myself so I don't get hurt again. And it's because there's been so many of these. You know, I, I feel it. There's so many heartbreaks, so many tower moments. But here's the thing, Gemini, and this is so crazy because I swear I just had this conversation with um, a girlfriend of mine who's all who, who it just happens to be a Gemini. We talked about the same thing and now the same energy is sort of cropping up. Now, Gemini, you're in a different space. OK, there's a different space you no longer have to have so many walls up. My phone just did this weird freezy thing. Okay, you don't have to have so many walls up because you've had so many of these tower moments, okay? Your intuition is on fire. You're gonna know if the, if the person's right for you within the first hour of 
So say you are on dating sites and, you know, you put yourself out there, which is what you should be doing, you know, if you're open to love. Okay, you don't have to do that. Not everyone finds their person like that. You know, it's going to be different for everyone. You do what feels good for you, Gemini, okay? Do what sets your soul on fire, okay? But your intuition is on point. We had the high priestess twice. So masculine or feminine, it doesn't matter. Your intuition is on point. You're going to know within the first hour whether or not this person is going to mesh well with you. Point blank, period, okay? So you don't need to worry. Okay, if you are ready to open up, there is someone that wants to commit to you. The hero fans in a love reading always means commitment, committing to something. And in this case, it's it's in a romantic love reading. So they are ready to commit to you, Gemini. You know, we got these cards, the card of happiness, celebration. The sun is the happiest card you can get in a love reading or in any reading period, the sun and the world are the two greatest cards you can get in tarot. Someone's ready for you. Are you ready for them? All right. So let me just pull some cards for this tower and see if this is past energy or present energy. I feel like it's past, but let me uh, just shuffle just to see, okay? Can you tell me about the tower, please? Can you tell me about the tower, please? Is it past or present? Tell me about the tower, please. I feel like you're totally not afraid of tower moments, so Gemini. Anyways. Okay, so we got three cards that popped out. Okay, we got Knight of Swords, we got um, Nine of Wands, Wounded Warrior, and Six of Pentacles. So yes, this card right here verifies for me that it's definitely some past Wounded Warrior energy. Be careful that it doesn't bleed into this coming up energy because this energy coming up is very positive, you know. We got this energy of reciprocated giving and receiving. Um, someone that wants to come in super quickly. Let's let me shuffle some. I'm just I'm so excited for you. Let me shuffle. Um, actually, I'm gonna use the other deck. But I want to see this hierophant energy and see if they can give me a little bit of um, information about your person and or some physical characteristics for you. So. About the hierophant and the person that this hierophant relates to, please. Can we get some physical characteristics, maybe some um, spiritual characteristics, what this person is like emotionally, any type of insight into this person that is represented in the commitment card by the hierophant, please. Okay, that was weird. My lotion bottle literally just flew, flew, it fucking flew, it didn't fall down. It flew off the table right next to me. And there's a lot of lotion in it, too. Look, it's not a, a it's not like a flimsy bottle. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck? That was creepy. Okay. Tell me about the hero fan, please. Can we get some physical characteristics about the person represented by the hero fan, please? We're going to draw two more cards for your love life after this. From the gypsy deck and the healing deck and then we'll do go on to your career gemini you've had a good reading so far okay can we get some physical characteristics or emotional it doesn't matter about this hierophant card right there Ooh, very romantic <laughs> childlike we got the page of cups okay let's get one more can we get one more we're pushing it i know gemini we're pushing it spirits going we already gave you enough but can we get one more card, Spirit? Thank you. You guys have been so amazing. There it is. Let's get this one. Ooh, 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 ooh. I'm, I'm loving this energy for you, Gemini. Okay, so we got the Page of Cups. The Page of Cups represent a person who is extremely romantic. Extremely romantic. They're very imaginative. They like to daydream, so they might be a bit of a dreamer, which is why explains why they're so romantic also we got temperance so they're very patient temperance is a patience card um i feel like this person might have tattoos masculine or feminine tattoos okay and uh, either sex very romantic very patient kind sort of dreamy gentle 
and whoever this person is they have been through a lot of stuff as well that is why we got the temperance card this is the card of alchemy they've been able to integrate both their lights and their dark and that is why they are so patient they understand the need for shadow work and also for light work they're very balanced Oof. well you got a good one coming in gemini be careful not to close yourself off Let's pull one card from the Gypsy deck. This deck is so hard to shuffle because it's so old. So we're going to pull one from this one for your love life, one from the healing. <laughs> to sum up your reading. Beautiful. And then we'll do your career section. Okay. One more card for Gemini. Further love life, please. Thank you, Spirit. You've been very generous with your information today. Okay. One more card for Gemini, please. One more card. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. We have death. So a lot of change coming in your love life. I told you. Stay positive. Stay open. These are good changes. I can feel them. Okay, one more card for Gemini for the love life. And then we're going to go on to the career, please, Spirit. Thank you so much. I'm so sorry the shuffling is probably so loud. I have my phone really close. My phone and speaker really close to <clears throat> um, really close to me today. One more card for Gemini for the love life, please. We're gonna go on to the career section. flew out i guess we'll take it it's a pretty good one so we got number six cycles um it's just a new cycle in your love life let's read a little bit of information about it though just to see if we're not missing anything number six by the way this is number six is the number of families so for some of you who are single moms single dads this is going to be a extended family unit so it's going to be a literal completion of your family. Sorry for any background noise. I hear screaming, but it's laughter. It's good screaming. <laughs> All right. Life is cyclical. Sometimes things flow and other times they slow down. So it talks about what um, cycle of your life do you think you're in right now? And where is the one area that you think you need to focus most of your energy? Is it time for you to focus on family? Do you need alone time? Um, do you yearn to open your heart and love fully, deeply, and passionately? That's what it says. <laughs> Is this the time for healing and regeneration? Maybe you're completely ready. Oh, hold on. I need the noise to die down. Maybe you are completely ready to enthusiastically concentrate on your life purpose and put all your energy and effort into making your dreams a reality. And then it says, seriously? Wow. Each cycle that you encounter offers you fresh gifts. They need to be reminded that Santa's coming soon. They are all sorts of rambunctious. Each cycle that you encounter offers you fresh gifts and possibilities to learn and to grow. So it basically talks about the better you get at identifying your cycle, Gemini, the more flow and harmony that you'll experience. And it says your body is the key to showing you where you're at. So like I said, your intuition's on point. Hold on one second. Okay, sorry about that, Gemini. So, like I said, your intuition is very strong. So, your body will let you know, your intuition will let you know where you are in your, in, you know, in your life cycle. Okay? So, depend on that feeling when you need to know where it is that, you know, where you're at. Are you, do you need to focus on your love life right now? Do you need to focus on your career? Do you need to focus on healing? You're going to know exactly where you're at because your intuition will tell you, Gemini. All right, we're going to go on to your career section. All right. I think we're just going to use my standard. Um, I ride or wait? I left. All right. What do we got for Gemini for career, please? Gemini for career, please. All right, we're doing the career portion for Gemini now. Thank you for allowing me to be the clearest channel for source messages. Please, thank you. All 
That's the hazards of having children around. Damn, Ten of Cups, I told you. You got some really good shit coming in, Gemini. You got Ten of Cups in career. So whatever it is you choose to do in your career, it's going to go well. Can we get two more cards for Gemini career, please? Whoa. There was a halt in the energy there for a second. Weird. Five of Wands. There's a lot of competition, whatever it is that you do. Where you work. If you're working somewhere, there's a lot of competition to get a one up in the in your job, Gemini. Friendly competition, of course. A little feeling of indecision, trying to figure out what you want to do. Maybe taking a, a moment to Meditate and figure out where it is you want to be. I feel like some of you feel like you have not found your life purpose yet, which is okay. And again, some wounded worry. Oh, so much noise. I'm so sorry, Gemini. I apologize in advance. My children are awake and, you know, sometimes there's no other times to do these readings. Um, but don't worry, I'm very good at focusing on what I'm doing. My messages come very clear from spirit, whether there's background noise or not. All right, so we have Nine of Wands, Wounded Warrior. And it's right after this moment where you decide you're not sure what you want to do with your life. Okay, so we got the Ten of Cups, which is happiness. Happiness. I mean, it's um, being content where you're at, being content in your job. And I feel like... For the most part, you are, right? But something happens. There's a little bit of conflict in the business, you know, where you're working. Maybe some competitiveness. I mean, it's the Five of Wands about competition and rivalry and fighting and stuff like that. But it's usually like lighthearted competition, you know, trying to get the, the biggest raises, trying to be employee of the month, whatever it is, you know, however it ties in with what you do, right? But I feel like something happened in the midst, okay? Like you were super happy with your job. And some of you are content because you realize that being grateful where you're at right now is what brings in the good stuff. So it's not that you're unhappy, okay? But there's a moment where you're going to stop and think, am I happy where I'm at? Am I truly happy or could I be doing something else which um, would serve me better? And it's not a bad thing. I feel like you're just analyzing where you're at right now because I, there's a feeling of yearning for a bit more you know so there's an energy of this is wounded warrior it's nine of wands but it's an energy of being just exhausted right now so it might not be that you're unhappy it might just be that you're a little bit exhausted from work I don't know like I said, there was a lot of energy of doing too much. Remember the Ten of Wands came out as well? So let's try to get a little bit more information about this wounded warrior. What can we tell Gemini about their career? Can we get two more cards to sum it up for Gemini, please? Oh, I'm sorry. It is so loud. I'm getting frustrated just a bit. I'm trying to listen to what he's saying. See if I can go out there and smooth it, smooth it out. Whatever is annoying my child. Okay, King of Cups. Can we get one more card for Gemini's love reading, please? Love reading. Career, sorry. Now I'm distracted. Gemini, career, please. Help me to tune everything out, Spirit, and just focus on you. Okay, so for some of you, there's going to be a fresh start. For some of you, I feel like you're though in your workplace is where you're going to find love. <laughs> uh, if that makes sense. Because we got the King of Cups, which represents a uh, strong masculine energy. Um, it, it feels like a romantic encounter at your workplace. <laughs> but there's an energy of a fresh start as well. So... All right, let's do one healing card for you, 
to kind of sum up your career. Is there anything else you can tell Gemini about their career, please? Can we get one card to help Gemini out with their career question, please? Again, we got the same card. So it's the same advice. Which cycle are you in right now, Gemini? Which cycle are you in in regards to your work life? It's number six. Again, so Spirit is saying, go with the flow. You're going to know whether or not you need to take this new leap of faith into this fresh start. You're going to know whether or not this romantic encounter is worth it that comes into your job. This is also, too, the card of being open. So being open to new possibilities in your um, work field. All right, that's all we got, Gemini. Literally got the exact same card. That's fucking phenomenal. My mind is blown. All right, thank you, Gemini. Um, all of my prices are in the description box, always below my videos. There's like a little arrow thing that's always on the right if you're doing like YouTube for mobile. And if you click on that, then it shows all the prices and all of that stuff because usually it's collapsed. So if you hit that little arrow on the right, um, then it usually will, my description box will pop up with everything. It's got my Etsy site linked on there. It's got my Patreon so that you guys have all the links. Um, I, I don't know. I guess that's it. I hope you guys had a happy Thanksgiving. Love you, Gemini. Bye.